Welcome, this is a post-election update. I'm Dakota Taylor. The primaries have ended for the nominees for governor and the candidates have been decided. Representing the Republicans will be incumbent Rick Perry, while Bill White will head the Democratic ticket. KDEX correspondent Amanda Alt is in the newsroom with reporter Jeff Chavez, who covered the Perry victory party. I'm here with Jeff Chavez, KDUX news reporter, and he was at Rick Perry's Republican headquarters tonight. Indeed Jeff. It was. It was at Sammy's Barbecue, and the mood was very upbeat. People were celebrating, holding up signs, and this kind of thing. I was actually able to speak to Rick Perry's own son, Griffin. Congratulations, Griffin. Any, uh, were you involved in the campaign at all? Uh, I did some stuff for Dad. You know, uh, here in Dallas, I'm a relatively new Im implant to Dallas, and. Uh, Everything's been going well up here. I helped with some fundraising and some other support issues and uh, helped with a couple friends tonight here in Dallas. Is there anything um, that you would like to say for students that maybe didn't vote in the primary but could vote later on in the election but maybe don't think their voice is heard? Actually, from what I saw tonight, get out there and vote. Your vote does make a difference, and these people are excited. They back their candidates 100%, and I just say get out there and get involved. And um, do you think that uh, students' opinions are just as important? Actually, I do. From what I heard tonight from the candidates and the representatives, that all votes count. 18, if you're 18 and up, go ahead and vote because all votes count, and the student body is a big part of the, what it takes to get elected. Complete returns were not in for state representative, but Stephanie Carter maintained a commanding lead over Jeff Bailey in the House District 102 race, which includes the Richland College area. I'm Dakota Taylor, and this has been your post-election update.